it going everybody and welcome back to another episode of the late night flame at the crib edition i'm your host jeremiah paprocki welcome back to another episode i hope you guys are staying safe during this quarantine the stay at home order has been extended to the end of the may here in illinois so i hope you guys don't lose it and go crazy one way to prevent that from happening is going on to YouTube and typing UIC Life and watching these late night episodes from home and leave a comment below in this video and leave a like and comment what you guys want to see in future episodes. But I figured I'd check in with you guys and tell you how I'm doing during this quarantine. Uh, back in the first episode of the Late Night Flame, I told you guys that I worked for the UIC Athletics Department where I'm a public address announcer and game operations coordinator for the Flames. Uh, obviously, because of the quarantine, there are no sports at the collegiate and pro level or at all levels, basically. So I am unable to work, and I have a lot of friends who are athletes in the athletics department, and they play during this time, which is called the spring season, which consists of track and field, baseball and softball. And unfortunately, they are unable to play right now. And some of them are seniors and can't prove themselves on the field at a very ending time of their playing career. So I figured I'd check in with them and let you guys see how they're doing in this segment called Check In With The Flames. I think the hardest part for me about the season ending early is not being able to say goodbye. I wasn't able to say goodbye to my teammates, my coaches, my race, and most importantly, the sport itself. For the most part, we're just doing homework, trying to graduate. Uh, that transition online made that a little bit tough, so we're just kind of dealing with that. Um, trying to stay active. I got a pull-up bar, a few dumbbells, and... Uh, bands down in my basement that I'll use to kind of uh, just stay as active as I can when I'm not doing anything lift oriented downstairs uh, in the basement I'll probably go for a hike uh, I live in Oregon so there's a whole lot of hills and buttes and stuff that I can hike that don't take too long or take much of my time hi my name is Kayla Isom and I'm on the UIC's women's cross country and track team and our track season was cut short due to the pandemic and it was cut short right after our indoor conference where we all did so well at so we were excited to jump into an outdoor season to see how much our times can improve and how much faster we can get before outdoor conference and bring home more horizon league titles but unfortunately we weren't able to do so because our season was cut short i've been a part of some sort of organized sport since i was three years old but i've been a track and field athlete since i was 12. And so track and field has really carried me on my transition from childhood into early adulthood. And to not be able to say goodbye to it, to prove myself one last time, to thank my teammates, my coaches, the friends that I've made, it's that's the hardest part for me. Um, aside from that, I'd, recreationally, I'll play Fortnite and Call of Duty, uh, a little bit of the show with my buddies just to kind of stay social and hang out. Picked up the guitar. Um, haven't done that in a while, so I figured I might as well start up again. And uh, yeah, beyond that, just hanging out, you know, not doing much. In a way, I've been dealing with this because I know we were all so bummed, but I've been keeping in contact with my coaches and teammates to make sure we're all in the right head space and making sure classes are okay and making sure training is still okay. It's kind of like losing an old friend. And I guess what's really taking me through this is just knowing that I did make lifelong friends as a track and field athlete. I learned more about myself through the sport than I could have ever imagined, and that's something that I will always take with me everywhere. And we're holding each other accountable for getting our workouts in because fortunately enough, we don't need a gym to practice in. We can run around our block or find a nearby track to run in while practicing social distancing. So I know this has been helping me a lot to know that my teammates are still working hard and my coaches are writing training plans to make us work hard. Um, staying healthy the best I can. I'd say the only thing is affecting me personally. My grandparents are older. Um, they live pretty close. so. I don't have the full opportunity to go out there and say hello. I got to say hello from a distance and work for my grandpa for a distance and stuff. But um, 
I do the best I can to kind of, like I said, stay healthy and communicate with anyone I still can. So that's pretty much it. Go Flames. My thanks to Rachel, Kayla, and Sam for checking in with us here on the Late Night Flame. We wish you guys all the best of luck on your future playing careers. The NCAA has granted all spring division one at least an extra year of eligibility, so we are all looking forward to seeing you guys in a Flames jersey again next year. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of the Late Night Flame. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. Get UIC Life to 500 subscribers. These are simple clicks. Do it for me. But just remember to let that passion for creativity burn. I'm Jeremiah Paprocki. Stay safe, UIC.